Hi there. We're at the end of week four of lockdown and our fifth week of being at home. Had to think about it then because all the days seem to be drifting into one, don't they, John? Yeah, it's just one of those things where one day just becomes one day and that happens enough times. I think they should just call it Schmurz Day. <laughs> or Schmurz Day or Monday. Sh Monday. Schweek. Schweek, yeah. <laughs> Seems to be very, very uh, long days, sort of taking a whole week and they're all drifting into one. I'm kind of thinking, what day is it? Hmm. Okay. One thing one of the uh, kids' TV channels used to have in the States that I don't know if they had it over here, they'd say, do you know what day it is today? And then uh, June would play and say, it's Monday or whatever day. I, I wish we had that channel now just so I'd know what the day is. <laughs> well, well, they are all drifting into one, aren't they? <laughs> but we're smiling. We're still here. We're really, really missing going out, aren't we? Going out and being with people, there's there's a lot of things to miss, but I think that it's just finding different ways to make the most of... Well, we've used Zoom to catch up with some people, haven't we? We have, yes. We've used Zoom and... But, and, and FaceTime and Facebook Messenger and all sorts of things, which is just not the same as seeing people in the flesh, as it were. One thing I've noticed with Zoom is that, yes, it's a great way to catch up with people, but at the end of it, it just makes you realise how much more you miss them because you're talking with them, but you're kind of so close, but so far. Yeah. Well, it was quite good because for my picture, I put up a, a photograph of Jasper. I mean, it was quite a big photograph and you could just sort of see my head poking up above the bottom of his face. So it looked like he was trying to eat me. So I just did this with my finger, so I looked like I was sticking my finger up my nose. It was a bit gross, I know. But there we go. So shopping-wise, I'm still doing the shopping once a week. I still have the same restrictions going on. It's a security guard on the door, just letting people in one at a time so that you can maintain social distancing while you're in there. And they've got a one-way system around the supermarket as well. But the shelves are stocked so you can get everything that you need. It just takes a bit longer because of the social distancing measures. I also went to our local post office this week. I had a letter to send. I've not been in there for a while. And the woman in there is absolutely terrified of coronavirus because she's got so many people going in every day she's got gloves on because she's handling so much cash and she's worried about all the parcels that she's got coming in and sh she really is terrified she had a customer in last week she said who was sobbing and when she asked the customer what was wrong she said her husband had died the previous week and he died of coronavirus and she was out because she was going to go and see his body and the lady behind the post office counter said she really really wanted to go round and give this woman a hug but she couldn't and I think it's things like that when you just want to show a bit of humanity and compassion towards people where your natural instinct might be to give them a hug it's something you can't do you wanted to go and see the lady in the post office, didn't you? And give her a hug, but you, you just can't do that. No, it's probably in one of those things that it sounds like a very nice idea. But unfortunately, the nicest ideas are not always the ones that are the... They're not always the ones to implement at the time. No, it's, it's just something you can't do because we're not in the same household, obviously. So you have to maintain social distancing, and so you can't do that. So it's quite difficult from that point of view. I would imagine that her story is very similar to the story of a lot of people who are in the supermarket, definitely a lot of our doctors and nurses. 
Well, yeah, every, anyone who's dealing with people. Everybody on the front line. Yeah. Yes, front line people. Well, but what about the uh, uh, what about the people who are doing deliveries for your pizzas or for your shopping? Wow. Well, uh, I would think that they've got to be just as nervous. Yeah. I would have thought so. Yeah. I think we had uh, we ordered pizza. I think it was a couple of weeks ago, and the person who showed up, I think they were, I think they were in a mask and. Yeah, mask and gloves, and kind of held the bag out like this so that you could take the pizza boxes out of the bag yourself so he didn't touch them and he wasn't handing them to you. And there was another one who just dumped them on the floor by the front door and then just went after he'd rung the bell, obviously, to say that he'd done the delivery. So there's all sorts of different things going on and and it seems like we're probably going to have to get used to social distancing for a while yet until there's either a vaccine or we've got what they call herd immunity that's what i think anyway there's also a lot of other worries that when the uh, when the lockdown's lifted just what happens is there a second wave is there a third wave there are just so many unanswered questions unfortunately yeah and here we're on the the end of the second week the final week of the easter holidays so in normal times the kids would be going back to school next week and obviously that's not going to happen we have no idea how long schools are going to remain closed for no i mean uh... Come September, what happened? You know? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, it just boils down to crystal ball says, ask again later. It does. But speaking of schools and George, he's been keeping himself busy. He's, he's been looking at his schoolwork. He's been doing uh, bits of research on his own. He's looking at some history stuff. He's been producing your radio show for you, hasn't he? Yes, he's been producing that, and then uh, that's something we have a lot of fun doing. And he's also been absolutely fantastic this week with me. I've been doing some DIY. It's not something that I do very often. It's not something that I'm particularly brilliant at because I don't do it very often. I guess it's lack of practice. And I was struggling with something and George was there going, you can do this, mummy. He'd got so much trust in that I could do it and I could do a good job. And I did. And I did a good job of it as well. And I was really, really proud of myself. And I wouldn't have done it without George's encouragement. So he's a little ray of sunshine, isn't he? He is, yes. Yeah. If anything, uh, yesterday, I think we were... I think we spent an hour reading Garfield comics. <laughs> That's going back some. <laughs> yeah, so we, we're keeping ourselves busy, aren't we? It's it's a struggle not being able to go out. And I'm really, really tempted just to put the opus up and camp at home, as it were. Camp on the drive. <laughs> I think that's one of those things you could possibly do on a Saturday night, Sunday morning. Yeah. And then it would have to come down very early Monday, whatever day that is. Yeah. Monday's Monday. Yes, but when yeah. is Monday? Uh, the day after Sunday. Yes. There we go. <laughs> we figured it out. We, we've got this whole week thing <laughs> sorted now. If, we know uh, that we've learned the days of the week. <laughs> we've learned the days of the week. We just don't know when they are. <laughs> if you know, then uh, let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. What day is it? <laughs> Where are we? Who are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Can I, the problem with letting us know in the comments that... Uh, that uh, that people then they're, they're going to comment on different days. Well, actually, it's fine because it'll all be about the same. Because <laughs> if you say it's Monday, even though it, we might see the comment there's Wednesday, a one, there's a one in seven chance it's right. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I like those odds. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and and it's right for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. 
we hope you've liked the video if you have please give us a thumbs up and if you don't already please do hit that subscribe button we'd really really appreciate it wouldn't we we would and we're going to go have sunday lunch because we think it's sunday or whatever day no it's definitely not sunday thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time bye bye now